Triticon, manufacturers of grain bag extractors and crop savers. We stopped in to visit with the folks recently at the Ag in Motion Farm Show. Okay, we brought our grain bag extractor, we call it the Grain Boss, um, and we also brought our crop savers, which is a stainless steel cone that divides the crop in front of your high clearance sprayers to reduce trampling. We have a few new features this year. We have the new inner quick attach, which makes it easier to remove the crop dividers. We have these inner crop protection shields, just gives you a little bit more protection past the cones. We have a widening kit for those guys that are using some wider tires and need the cone to be able to cover. We also have found um, that our short cones has been doing some good uh, results in the uh, desiccating canola. So we have a wide canola uh, cone um, to be able to fit with those wider tires. And also our short cone also does a very nice job on uh, desiccating canola. We also have a new jack for heavier um, machines and that will be able to lift a little bit heavier with a bigger base. So we're um, excited about that. The crop saver will uh, save you money by reducing trampling. Uh, it's a quick calculation. If a guy had 100 foot booms and 12 inch tires on it, you run a 2% of your crop over. So for easy figuring, if you spend $100 an acre on input, you run a 2% of that over, it's $2 an acre. We're going to reduce that by 90%, uh, which will save you $1.90 per acre. So if you sprayed 1,000 acres in one day, and that's only at $100 input cost, would be $1,900 per day you're saving with crop savers. So the 2% savings off gross that you run over will calculate if you're making a net profit of 10%, which will actually increase your net profit by 20% in simply using dividers on your crop. The Grain Boss got some unique features which no other grain extractor has. First of all, we'll talk about the uh, 360 rotating auger. You can either uh, unload on the left or right hand side of the bag, get out of the wind, plus also with the movable auger, you don't have to move your truck to load it proper. Uh, second of all, I want to talk about our pull-through rollers on the back here. Instead of rolling up the bag, we actually feed her bag and dump it right back on the ground so you don't have to deal with the bag till the bag is empty. And you can simply do this by putting it through any old round baler to clean it up. Then the next feature we go to is the self-propelled wheels. Um, anybody in the bagging industry has probably had holes in bags where it rips the bag apart. With the self-propelled wheels, it'll help you pull through the bag without just relying on pulling on the plastic and also on the main wheels it's also got a steering option so you can either uh, instantly correct your uh, to the center of the bag to get your tractor through there and then the other feature we got on the back it's it can either do a nine foot a 10 foot or a 12 foot bag without changing the machine this one here is a 13 inch model it'll do a 200 bushels per minute. We also have an identical looking machine, which is a 16 inch, which will do 300 bushels a minute. You need uh, the perfect match for this machine is a 120 horsepower tractor. You can run it with an 80 horsepower tractor, just not full capacity. Uh, you need four gallons a minute for a hydraulic fluid.